Friends, I'm going to try a little experiment. As some of y'all know, I've lost a lot of weight. I went from 351 pounds down to like 288. That's what I weigh today. And I've been doing a lot of it by just eating uh, foods that I think are, are good for me, you know, fairly low calorie foods. And one of them is pizza. I've got my Domino's pizza, a large Domino's pizza, thin crust with pepperonis, mushrooms, black olives, and jalapenos and green peppers. So, what I'm going to do, I, I'm not a trendy eater. I try to eat well-balanced food and everything. But for fun, I've just noticed on days that I just eat a pizza, I lose weight. For one week, I'm going to try. I'm going I'm to shake these pizzas up. It'll be mostly vegetables. I'm only going to allow myself one meat, probably pepperoni or ham. Because as you can see, there's those pepperonis are so thin, I'm really not getting a whole lot of meat. I'm getting some cheese. That's a large. I'm not getting a doughy crust. That's a very thin crust. So it has fewer calories than eating a big doughy crust, but it's got vegetables on it. Tomorrow I might throw some spinach or I, I took a, a shot, a screenshot of what all they have, the vegetables. I might get some additional different kinds of vegetables on it, but I'm going to try for one week for seven days to eat nothing but Domino's pizza. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to eat it at lunch, uh, skip breakfast. Usually I skip breakfast anyway, skip dinner. Cause usually if I eat one of these for lunch, I don't feel like eating dinner. So it's kind of a good thing. I imagine there's about 2,000 calories in each one of these pizzas. So basically, it's just limiting of calories is what it is, isn't it? But I'm going to try this. I'm going to let you know what happens. So today, when I got on the scales, I was exactly 288. 288 pounds. I'm a little over six foot, six foot two. So that's that's how fat and heavy I still am. I'd like to get down to like 280. And I've been kind of stuck for three or four weeks at around this two upper 280s. So I want to go down below. We'll try this we'll report back in seven days and let you know what's happened oh and by the way this is where my where my dominoes is this is the best one i love these people are great great service it's at the food line in morganton kind of in the north part of morganton over on highway 70 i guess it is i just wanted to check back in after three days of doing my pizza diet uh, i have been eating other stuff besides just pizza but mostly pizza so I've been doing the, I've been skipping breakfast. I just don't eat much breakfast. I've been eating pizza for lunch. I've uh, started eating some roasted red peppers on there instead of jalapenos because it doesn't burn as much. <laughs> I'm gonna try ham today. I've been eating pepperonis though. And uh, just gonna say I've, uh, at night I've been eating maybe a sal chicken salad, a salad with some chicken in it, uh, an apple. I've been eating maybe um, about half a bowl of almonds or, or pecans. I've been eating those uh, just as a snack. Last night I did eat a big chicken breast, some shrimp, and some broccoli. So this is a little later on day three, day four, this is Thursday. And this is the pizza I'm trying today. So this one has ham on it instead of uh, pepperonis. I think maybe the ham would be more healthy for me than the pepperonis, we're gonna see. So this is the first day with a large, with ham, pepperoni, roasted red peppers, green peppers, mushrooms, black olives. Awesome. I mean, I'm eating stuff that I like, that I just love. I mean, I'm like addicted to pizza anyway. So how, how awesome is it to lose weight eating something you love? So friends, it's been one week uh, since I started my Domino's pizza for lunch uh, diet. <laughs> Not really a diet. Uh, just wanted to say, how, how did I do? I lost 5.8 pounds in seven days. Skipping breakfast, having Domino's pizza for lunch, and then eating a reasonable supper. I thought I would originally just do just Domino's pizza one a day and see how much I'd lose. And I might get brave and do that. I just thought I was, I was gonna be too hungry at night. So I did eat. What did I eat? Uh, most nights I would eat like a chicken salad or something. One night I ate uh, about a pound of shrimp and some chicken and an apple. One night I ate just a bunch of walnuts and pecan, or walnuts and, excuse me, pecans and, and almonds and an apple. One night I ate meatloaf and Brussels sprouts and zucchini squash and some, some potatoes. One night I ate a baked potato and a piece of chicken. So I, I, I did eat light dinners as well. But the, the thing is, I didn't want to eat too much dinner because I'd eaten a whole pizza earlier in the day. And so the key to this thing, and, and I don't know if it's a work for everybody, uh, but the thin crust is way uh, less calories than than eating the uh, the, the doughy crust. It's six or seven hundred calories probably per pizza. Less if you get thin crust from Domino's. I was eating large pizzas. 
usually pepperonis, it has cheese on it, of course, then you got your sauce, and then I was uh, getting usually mushrooms, black olives, green peppers, roasted red peppers, or jalapeno peppers, some kind of pepper combination. And I did that for seven days, 5.8 pounds. I weighed 282.2 now. I weighed 288 when I started the diet last week. So is this something I would do every, all the time? No. Uh, and, and what I want to do, I want to show you, first of all, how did that affect other things, other than the fact I lost some weight. Uh, so I wanted to put a little bit of science behind this. So I went to, to our, we have a program called WellWorks where I work. And so they're really nice. They'll do your blood, you know, blood chemistry and everything. And so I had done on 10, 12, which was seven days ago, October 12th, I'd done my total cholesterol was 108, 108. Today, it was 106. My cholesterol actually dropped two points, which they told me my cholesterol is really good. And um, let's see what else. HDL cholesterol had gone, make sure I'm getting the right day. Yeah, had gone up a little bit, which HDL was the good cholesterol. So it was up to 35 before it was 32. So that was a good thing. My triglycerides had fallen a lot. Uh, the day I had this, uh, this on the on 10, 12, it was 281. Now it was 185. Pretty cool. Uh, LDL cholesterol, bad cholesterol was 30. It had gone up just a little bit, 34, right? I guess LDL is the bad. The thing is, the uh, the uh, total cholesterol HDL ratio was better. Was better. It was it was actually 3.0, uh, whereas it's 3.4 over here on this day. So I can hold. Not not. You know, so many people who understand medicine might might understand what's going on here. But the, the, so the answer, the, the answer to everything is, I mean, glucose non-fasting was 108 the last time. This was 110. I, uh, so, uh, so pretty good. So my, my glucose was low, which by the way, uh, with the weight loss, I've lost 60. Holy crap, I don't know. I, I weighed 351 at the heaviest. I think I was diagnosed with diabetes. I weighed 346 or 348, something like that. So now I'm down to 282. I just found out I don't have to take metformin anymore. Got the uh, call today that my uh, A1C was down to 6.2 from like 9.4. So that was really great news. I don't have to take metformin anymore. I'm, I'm still in what they call pre-diabetic uh, level, but as the weight keeps going down, hopefully I'll not even be that anymore. If I get, I think, below 5.7, then I'm not totally not diabetic. But this is, this is kind of how I look. Uh, those of you who've seen videos from... 10, 12 months ago, I was huge. I was way fat. I was watching a video today where I cut down some trees and I was I was pretty porky in those uh, in those videos. <laughs> so anyway, see, yeah, it's going really well. And so the Domino's pizza thing works for me. Now, our WellWorks coordinator, a lady named Stephanie, told me today, she said she wouldn't recommend I do that all the time, that your body would get you know, sort of used to eating that amount of calories and that kind of food and it might stop shocking the system and you might not lose weight. So maybe it's the kind of thing you try every other week or maybe one week out of the month, or maybe you uh, do Domino's pizza two days a week and eat that, you know, just, again, the key is a thin crust pizza with lots of vegetables on it. For me, uh, the pepperonis worked because let's face it, all the pepperonis on there stacked up would only be maybe an inch tall. So I'm only eating about an inch of pepperonis and you know, whatever cheese they throw on there, it's not a huge amount of cheese. And then the rest of it was vegetables. And, uh, but it, yet it filled me up on those days. Uh, typically I could say I, I just, well, I would skip breakfast. I tend to do that anyway. And, uh, yeah, I know a lot of people say that's bad, but for me, it works. <laughs> I skip breakfast about 1130. I'd order that pizza, go eat the entire thing. Even if I didn't feel like eating it all, sometimes I would save some of it for later. I'd eat maybe two thirds of it. And then about four o'clock, eat the rest and come home eat one of those salads or eat, like I say, Brussels sprouts, a piece of chicken, some nuts, uh, big old apple, that kind of thing. And the weight just came off. So excellent. I'm going to keep doing it because for one thing, it's losing weight with something I absolutely love to eat. And you know what? I think if you can find something like that, that fills you up um, and, and it satiates you and then you, you, can, you, you really dig eating it, isn't that a lot better than going and eating stuff you don't like? I mean, that's what I think anyway, especially if it doesn't affect my cholesterol. Now, tell you what, there's a lot of sodium in that. So if you're 
a person on like a low sodium diet, probably not gonna work for you. You know, here again, I'm sure a doctor would tell you don't do this. I'm sure the people at, uh, at uh, uh, Domino's would tell you, yeah, I do it. <laughs> But try it. You know, the other thing too, the other the other issue is I'm 280 some pounds. Uh, if you are 175 pounds, you're trying to lose down to 140 and you're eating a whole pizza, it's probably not gonna work, right? Because the the, the more, the bigger you are, the more calories you're gonna burn. And I also wanna say about the exercise, um, didn't, I didn't, did not change the way I move during the day. So almost every day, uh, it's a kind of given I'm going to get between five and 8,000 steps in. So usually it's more like six to 8,000. Sometimes I go over 10,000 steps. So I do walk a lot. I have to carry gear and stuff around. I do a lot of videos and website stuff, a lot of consulting with people, remote shoots and stuff. Uh, I don't, but I got to tell you, I, I walk the dog a lot. So I was getting a bit of exercise, but not an exorbitant amount. You know, no different than, you know, like I could say I was just stuck. I was stuck at about 290 some pounds for a while and uh, 91, 92 pounds. And so doing this has kind of bumped me back down. Yeah, I always have some bots, some people come on and say, oh, you just lost a lot of water weight. But remember, I've lost over 60 pounds. So I think if it was water weight, then I would have lost it, I don't know, 50 some pounds ago. So anyway, worked for me. I'm going to continue doing it. I'm going to continue enjoying my large Domino's Pizza's Thin Crust with tons of vegetables on it. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.